Well, good morning, and it's day two of my video log uh, for long weekend down here in the Clyde Coast, Weems Bay Holiday Park, with the sea in the background. It really is a gorgeous morning, by the way. Uh, absolutely clear skies, totally calm, not a breath of wind. It's absolutely beautiful. So today we will be heading this way. Over that way, down to the bottom of the road, take a walk down this morning and catch the ferry over to Rossi. Have a walk around there, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous place and they have a meal and a favourite hotel we go to when we go over there. Weather forecast for the rest of the day is absolutely lovely. So, looking forward to it. So, I'll catch you all up later uh, once we start to head towards the ferry. What a beautiful morning. And uh, really grateful for this, for a mini break, to, <laughs> considering the weather we've had recently, to have this is just amazing. And my sister in law and her husband have thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Great fun in the caravan last night, uh, four of us where you can hear through the paper thin walls. Uh, I think we spent more time laughing than we did actually sleeping. So, I'll speak again soon. Well, this is the view from the Holy Caravan Holiday Park over to Rossi, over to Butte, over the water. Uh, where we're just heading right now, heading down to the railway station and joint ferry station, catch the ferry over to Rossi. Yeah, well, it's uh, 9 a.m. Uh, on day two, and we're just heading down to catch the ferry. And you may see the ferry coming in just in the background of the water. And we should be in perfect time to march aboard and sail across in the early morning sun to Rossi. Arrived at the railway station and just heading down now to the boardwalk. The boardwalk taking us down to the ferry, the ferry that's just arrived. Uh, family's just in front of us, my wife, her sister and her man. And uh, if I walk backwards and fall over, please excuse me. <laughs> I just wanted to let you see this lovely boardwalk, covered, beautiful, beautiful place. I've said of course that the whole railway station and this uh, wooden boardwalk covered uh, gangway as it were from the railway station to the ferry is Victorian and has been maintained. In fact it was revamped recently and uh, really is gorgeous. Uh, money well spent and our ferry is in so best go and get the tickets ready to go across the water. Well on the ferry just left Weems Bay and uh, 30, 35 minutes time we'll be docking in Rossi. A gorgeous morning to be sailing. Going over. Well, we've arrived in Rossi. Smooth, smooth crossing in the sun. I even spotted porpoises at the back of the boat about 10 minutes ago. Beautiful. And uh, now the new harbour here that's in Rossi. It was revamped with a new landing station for the boats and a uh, new gangplank, new harbour for yachts. So, just heading into town now and uh, we walk round about then go for a meal and I'll uh, see you all soon again. Beautiful Rossi, Rossi Harbour. A gorgeous place. It's as gorgeous weather. <laughs> Take this any day. We're about uh, five minutes off the ferry and it's just loaded up, unloaded, loaded up and is heading off once again. Uh, it takes no time at all. I'm totally amazed um, that they can turn this around so fast and it's just wonderful to watch. That is the Argyle that's sailing out. So you'll be heading back across to Weems Bay and Passes his pal on the way back over. Well, I'm now standing in the, the square in Rossi, 
Um, I say the square because it is a square for the shops, car parking, but it's also a meeting place where a lot of uh, local, especially the older guys, the older men, uh, the locals sit and play uh, and meet up. And as you can see, looking across to the ferry terminal and the Victorian toilets, which if you ever come here, you must go and see. They are fantastic. In fact, they've been featured in so many places. But the girls are headed along the shops and uh, wait for some goodies. And uh, we're just hanging back <laughs> because we'll let the girls go in and out of the shops and we'll suck up the sun as much as we possibly can. Well, it's still day two Saturday on my video log and we've come down to Mount Stewart on uh, the island. <laughs> Busted for bus drivers. <laughs> uh, a great man. Wave to the wave to the camera. <laughs> wave to the camera. <laughs> that's uh, that's Paul, the bus driver, the ever so helpful bus driver. Uh, West Coast Motors, who brought us all the way into uh, Stuart, uh, Mount Stuart, I should say. Uh, special events on here today, you may see the, the period tractors in the background there. Um, lots of support staff from, uh, I guess, the, the Army TA, possibly. Um, and uh, it's, there's, a, there's a major event on today, and we found that out. So we, we got a taxi up here, grabbed the courtesy bus that's Wheeled us all the way in here, Paul driving the bus, and uh, the girls have shot ahead as usual to see if they can pick up any bargains at this. Uh, it's a joint craft, uh, food, and exhibition, music, everything. I'll let you see what's going on, and I'll maybe let you see a wee bit of the stuff we're going to But I have to say, the grounds of Mount Stewart so far, coming in a drive that's about three miles long, absolutely, absolutely stunning. Ah, beautiful, beautiful place. So, let's go down and see what's happening down here. Lots of support staff. Lots of going, lots of things going on. And uh, some guys, obviously, two Highlanders. I know you're Namby Pamby Highlanders here. Uh, real guys. So, we'll go down and see what's happening in the main event. And uh, maybe get some nice homemade cheeses or wine or <laughs> other salubrious stuff. There you go. And if I spin round now, you'll see the frontage of Mount Stewart. Beautiful, beautiful. Girl. There you go. I'll speak again soon. I know that there's lots to go in this particular day. Well, I've just come out of the food tent. Uh, so many free samples. Smoked salmon. Smoked prawns, smoked cheese, relishes. Uh, I tried several, and to be honest with you, every damn one of those was gorgeous. And if I had bought a parcel of each, I'd be about 40 or 50 pounds down. But I don't think I'll be leaving here today without something from that tent. Oh my goodness, the finest affair. Oh, lovely. So now, to find the rest of the gang, now I see them disappearing into a big tent and we've got some music over there. Maybe I'll give you a better look of Mount Stewart from down here, lower down in the grounds. Have a look at that. What a beautiful place. Ah, I may head back to the food tent shortly. <laughs> I didn't see anybody giving away whiskey yet, but I've got my eyes and ears peeled. A wee bit of music by Mount Stewart. Oh, I'm asking you, Sergeant, where's mine? Well, we've come back into Rossi. Uh, it's about 3pm uh, now. And uh, we're just going to catch the next ferry back over to Williams Bay. 
still a gorgeous day and we have just had a wander around the Explorer Centre, I'll show you that. Uh, basically you could call it tourist information but it's much much more than that and it's won awards. Uh, if you look at the gardens that surround this place, um, that's absolutely stunning. Water features, hot and green, fantastic gardens and Victorian lighting. Um, I should have mentioned earlier that Mount Stewart is one of the oldest and grandest of uh, Victorian Gothic structures and uh, we've never actually been in so I guess one day we'll come back another day we will actually take a tour around it uh, but uh, set at 300 acres, beautiful place but anyway as I said we are back here in Rossi and spending just killing some time now uh, the girls are having another look around some shops trying to pick up any more gifts they can take back home and uh, basically what we are doing it's just uh, me and my brother-in-law are just wandering round about and sucking up the sun, trying to stay out of the shade as much as we possibly can. So, there you go, Rossi, on a beautiful day, one of the nicest places you'll visit. Yes, an old town, but uh, lots of money's been spent there, so they've made one heck of a difference. Ah well, our day over in Rossi has uh, come to an end, but it's not, the day hasn't come to an end, we're just heading back to the ferry and we'll be going back to Weems Bay and over up to the caravan again and get prepared for a night out up in Greenock in the Celtic Club nonetheless, so lots to do today, I feel as if I've done so much, but anyway, best get on the ferry before it leaves without me or I'll be spending the night here for a wee while. Just in case you wonder if there's a recession going on, looking at some of the boats in the marina. Not everyone is suffering recession. Have a look at those parting on their luxury boat. <laughs> 